Hey everybody, my name is Kate and welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we uh, continued uh, basically the second season or the second year under uh, as us under GM of U DCW, I guess. We got a new update uh, that came out for the game itself, which be uh, should be uh, able to allow me to do stuff from the campaign itself as well and outside the campaigns. Uh, one of the few things they added up, I'm going to go into manage, uh, we can uh, add up a new thing where we can make it so that the wrestlers don't get injured and don't get unhappy. So let me see if that's an actual option right here, boys. Is it an option in here or style stain change, reincarnation training? I don't see it in here. Uh, but uh, it's probably here, right? Analysis? No, it's not here. I don't see it here, so it's probably not that. What would it be? Is it options? I think it's in options, right? Yeah, it's pro Oh, there it is. There it is. So you can modify the thing, boys. You can modify the thing anytime you want. You can put no injuries, no unhappiness. Uh, I think I'm just going to do no unhappiness. I think injuries, I'm going to keep it in just because... it. Like it creates some sort of uh, of randomness to the to the game, right? So you don't want to have to deal with that. So I think no unhappiness is the one I'm gonna deal with. So uh, my my wrestlers are not gonna be unhappy, and I'm gonna keep like um, injuries on just because you know it's it's a thing that's interesting nonetheless. So I'm gonna keep that on. We've got October. So who's the new guy that we wanted to? El Generico, I think, was our new guy, right? Yeah, so he's the one we're going to be pushing, boys, today. We're going to be pushing him. Are we training anybody? We are reassuring Paul Eamon. And um, now that actually I, I'm not going to need to do that anymore. Just because everybody's going to be happy. But uh, Matt Hardy is there. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start doing the event. The first event, at Anarchy Rules. We got uh, bonus effects, tables, street fight, and submission matches up the matches themselves. Uh, Sting is the main heavyweight champion. He has a feud going on with uh, Rob Van Dam right now. All right, that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Are we going to do a multi-man match? We're about to see, boys, real quick. We are not doing a multi-man match. We're doing a singles match, it looks like. All right, so singles match for this one. And uh, next thing, uh, do we want to blow out this match actually? Hold on. I'm not sure, boys. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Against uh, Rob Van Dam. So this one, no, we don't want to blow it out. It just started. All right. So yeah, we're keeping that one. Lita, uh, Women's Championship. I feel like uh, it's least important than this, like the ECW World Television Championship, but. I don't know, boys. So let's just get uh, Jeff Hardy right here. Get him over here. And uh, does, does he have a, any actual feud going on? He doesn't have any. We're going to do a singles match because we do want to start a feud up. So Jeff Hardy versus uh, anybody that's uh, not a heel, basically. So a face or a neutral. Whoever is the most popular right now between all of them. I can't go for Mickey James, she's already, no, I can't go for her, I, I can if I want to. But uh, I, I need to go for one of the, so either Trish Stratus or Mickey James boys is gonna be the new one. Uh, the, the more, and that's the most over basically right now. So I'm gonna go for Mickey James, seems like a good one boys. I'm gonna go for, uh, for her, we're gonna add a feud between these two. Uh, we're gonna do previous champion feud, there we go. She is the previous champion after all. And we're not going to add any gimmick to it. Okay, looks like. Gil Kim versus Lita. They already have a feud going on. We are going to blow out that feud. Let, uh, let's see though. It is a multi-man match. So uh, if since it's a multi-man match, it's going to be a triple threat today. So uh, against one of the... Do we have another girl available? No, we only have uh, Trish Stratus. So... Trish Stratus is going to come in, boys, and it's going to be just a regular match as well. No uh, st special stipulations or anything. So we're going to do that. So that's perfect, and it's a blow-off as well. It's a blow-off, boys. So that's that. And the rest, I'm going to let the AI decide uh, what type of matches they want to put in. 
I'm obviously going to put in uh, quality. I'm going to do Bizarro because I really do like Bizarro style, boys. So add matches. There we go. Automatic. Uh, let's just do automatic right there. Add matches. Okay, good. So Bizarro matches. It's already done. Uh, we are going to get rid of that feud and get rid of that feud as well. While we're at it, we're actually going to delete that. We're going to do a multi-man between these three guys. Perfect. All right, that's that's perfect. That's going to be the first match. We're going to put uh, a one match in between the, the championships. And I think uh, that's fine, boys. So that's fantastic as it is. Uh, we are going to put uh, special stipulations on. Uh, on these matches right here that uh, are added, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a gimmick match. And they did say that um, tables, three fights and submissions were uh, on the par right here, were the best things. So we're going to do um, submission match, which is the most uh, interesting one first. Uh, add a gimmick match. It's going to be a tables match for this one. And for this one, it's going to be a street fight match. There we go. So it's going to up the stakes for these guys. Uh, I think that's perfect as it is. Next up, boys, uh, production wise, we want to go for main event package. There we go. We're going to uh, boost up the main event right here as usual. Uh, there is a new feud uh, going on. So we can add a feud package for Robin Dam versus Sting. Up that up, boys, and we're gonna do that like that. Uh, that should be fine. There we go, perfect. Actually, let's just do that like that. There we go. So that's perfect. That uh, should work out just fine. Let's jump on in, boys. Have a little bit of fun. There we go. Have some fun. And since we know that it's not gonna be no happiness anymore, unhappiness, uh, everybody's gonna be able to perform uh, at their maximum, at least uh, what they're, they're capable of doing. So anarchy rules. We've got uh, the fans want Rob Van Dam to retain the title. They want uh, Kurt Henning to win 70%. So they are not sure. Mickey James to uh, win the title. So they want uh, new champions, basically. They want Rob Van Dam to be the champ. Mickey to be the champ. And uh, who wins right there? Uh, okay, so Lita to retain. Interesting choices. Interesting choice. Right here, we're obviously going to be pushing Gen uh, El Generico slash uh, Sami Zayn boys. He's our new guy, so we're pushing him. Uh, we are going to give him... Is there a special finish we can give him? Not at all. So we're just going to give him straight up the win, boys. Just like that. Straight up giving El Generico the win. That's fantastic. That's um, almost a five-star, uh, four-star match. The, the the street fight match uh, event, though... It, uh, it's not, it went down. So three fight actually went down. I don't know how. It's through a women's championship match. It's time boys to do the blow off. It should be a perfect blow off. So what we want to do is, who do we want to win? They wanted uh, Lita to retain, right? Yeah, the fans wanted Lita to retain. She's been, uh, she has five wins in a row so far. She's been doing really good boys. Riding on the success she has right now. And uh, the fans want to just keep uh, keep it going big time. So I can't argue with that. That's for sure. We we're going to give them what they want, I guess. They want Lita to retain. She'll retain. Blow off finish, boys. So the feud is over between her and Gail Kim. Lita wins. And uh, was there uh, a thing there? I think it's uh, work rate. Oh, Gail Kim's work rate upgraded to level 3, boys. So she's a better wrestler now. That's per That's perfect. She's maxed out on wrestling, uh, maxed out on wrestling skills. That's really good. Um, next up, let's see what the next match is. It's not a perfect match or anything right there, but I guess it, it was just fine for what it was. Triple threat tables match between three guys that I would never see do a, a triple uh, a tables match, but that's fine. So uh, who who deserves it more? I guess. Uh, everybody's gonna be happy, right? Unhappiness is not a thing anymore, so I don't need to worry uh, about that. Uh, I still want to give the win to the one that's the most like unhappy and stuff, or, or the one that has the least amount of wins over the past few days. So, you know, uh, Ricky Steamboat kind of deserves a win right here. We're gonna give him a, a, a win right here. Let's just give him a straight up a win. Boom, just like that. So Ricky Steamboat gets a win. 
uh he gets uh it's a five and a half star match almost so really good match for that one uh really helped uh upped it up big time i like to see that boys uh this match right here for the television championship lead on the corner still the champion big time champ uh in the corner of our uh, of the champion for television as well jeff hardy uh, he's been two months as champion right now they wanted mickey james to be the new one though so unfortunately for jeff that's just how it goes uh is mickey james a heel she's a face so i don't think screwjob would work uh, throw in the towel we can throw in the towel but uh loser uh yeah loser has manager yeah both of them have a manager so it's it's gonna work out just fine so i think um mickey james is gonna win because uh lita is gonna throw in the towel and just like that that's a good finish almost a five star ma uh, five star match from that it started a few start off uh, starts off with mickey james re uh, uh becoming champion once more so congrats to mickey james she's the champ uh she can thank the fans for that submission match between these two who has the least amount of wins or the uh, uh, worst record in the previous days i i think uh kurt any uh, or actually eddie is the one that has the uh, worst record so he's going to be the one that has to uh, get the uh, get the the win right here so eddie's going to get the win for this one lively start really good match five and a half star almost a, a, a match again so another great match boys and now we are coming up to the main event so feud package really good there we go it's gonna up the stages yeah this this feud is really good right now it's up and up uh, i think they wanted rob van dam to be the new champ as well for this one so uh yes yeah, sting's been the champion for six months six months as champion so he's had a pretty good reign boys but now they want rob van dam to win it uh, which is fine by me i think we already did a screw job finish if we do ring collapse i can't do that because it's gonna automatically retain the championship for sting but by any means uh can we do that because by any means is a face goes to uh turns heel right i think rob van damme's a face oh we can do that yeah we can do that with rob van damme because he is um he's not a natural face or anything so we can do that for sure so uh we're gonna do that a face turns to extremely length in order to win boys there we go the match worked to strength and it uh the uh, by any means uh storyline worked out just great so robin then turns heel and sting stays face in the process so that's even better and that's top talent right there so that means it's a five oh uh yeah it's a five almost a six star match fantastic match right there to finish it off boys and that's going to give us a five-star pay-per-view. Holy shit. And Robert Dam is on the way to becoming a, a face of the company as well. Uh, Eli, whatever. Okay, we got a couple of stuff here and there. And that's about it. Championship, our company keeps going up and everything. Pay-per-view as well. Everything's fantastic, boys. That was a fantastic pay-per-view for us. We gained almost uh, uh, 100k fans just from that pay-per-view alone we have what else do we have so the, the wcw uh, had the best in, uh, number of attendance this month so wwf is really going down big time uh, i'm gonna pass them up in no time holy all right then so we uh we got this arn anderson came on late tonight show last night participating in an edit yet other segment spread the reports and showcase our okay so Arn anderson i guess coming back a little bit larry zabisco all right so we got uh we got a couple of stuff uh, that was a really good pay-per-view uh jake roberts just came back from injury boys polyman did go so well it went down candice loray has arrived on the indies that could be a really good wrestler for us jake roberts available gimmick changes and work rate for uh gail Kim went up and we're still working on the charisma for uh matt Hardy, i guess plus match effects iron man match so we must uh, remember to do an iron man match submission match and still sell do not we don't want to do those all right so that sounds uh sounds fine by me let's continue uh for the next pay-per-view boys let's go right into it we're having a lot of fun right here 
Rob Van Dam is a new heavyweight champion. We still have that feud going on between these two guys. Let's see uh, what type of match is it going to be. It's going to be a singles match, boys. So singles match. Um, no spe uh, no st special stipulations or anything. It's just a regular match, I guess. Uh, for the match for Lita right here. Or Mickey James in that instance. Because she's the world television champion. Yeah, she's got a feud going on with Jeff Hardy. So uh, what do we want to do? It's going to be a singles match as well. So a singles match and no special stipulations for these guys. And what about Lita? Lita is going to be... Oh, uh, okay. So Lita is going to defend her title in uh, a big time uh, match or whatever. Uh, a big time feud. So last time um, we're going to pick up Trish Stratus again. Gail Kim. Is that all the girls we have? Yeah, we need a little bit more girls. Don't have any more girls. I'm going to need to uh, pick up a, a wrestling a woman wrestler once again, boys. I don't have enough of, their, uh, of, of them around. I definitely do not have enough of them. So I guess it's going to be a triple threat between these three once again. And uh, it is going to be, there is going to be a gimmick uh, added to it. We're going to do, um, I guess, the Iron Man match. It, dis, uh, it does uh, put up. I can't do it. So we're just going to do an elimination match. Elimination triple threat match. That would be a great one for sure. Uh, next up. So that's going to be booking match now. Uh, we did, did have Bizarro. So I, I do want quality matches. Sure, why not? Let's have quality matches. Add uh, match segments. There we go. So some quality matches here and there. And uh, there's two wrestlers that haven't been booked. So we're going to book them in last. Good. So we're going to book that over here and book that over here. All right. So there's a triple threat right here. Uh, there's a normal match. Okay. So that's kind of cool. The, the AI is doing some stuff. We are going to have special stipulations to all these matches right here. So false count anywhere big time uh, for this one. We're going to have over here. What, uh, what else do we have? So uh, we have a TLC. I can't do a TLC. So it's going to be a still cell uh, over here. Uh, over here, this one is going to be an Iron Man match. There we go. And the last but not least, over here is going to be a Nyquit match. Uh, sure, why not? Sure, uh, sure, why not? A Nyquit match between these two. So that's uh, that's what's going to happen, boys. There we go. High quit match between these guys. And uh, I think we're good. So now segments. Same thing as usual. Go for the main event package, boys. Do we have a new feud going on? We do between Mickey James and Jeff Hardy. So we can up that feud up big time. Let's do that. So up that feud up between these two guys. And we are good to go. Let's start the pay-per-view up, boys. So easy now. I'm, I'm so used to, uh, to do everything now. So November to remember. And we got all the uh, special wrestlers and stuff. So who do the fans want to win this time? They want Sting to re-become the champ. What the fuck is wrong with the... Okay, I don't know what the, what's wrong with the fans, boys. But uh, they're throwing the title around. Sting was champ for six months. They get, they want uh, Rob and them to win the title. All of a sudden, they want Sting to re-become re the champ again. The hell. They want Jeff to... Re um, same thing. They want Jeff Hardy to win again. And they want Lita to retain. So one thing is for sure is they do like Lita quite a lot because they want her to retain all the time. All right, so Matt Hardy versus Generico. Uh, Generico, of course, is going to get the W right here in an I Quit match. There we go. It's getting um, a push, boys. Obviously, I Quit match is going down the effect. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, not a good match. Three and a half star. Could have been a way better match. Um, I guess it's because Matt Hardy is not really... That he doesn't have a lot of charisma. He's a decent wrestler, but he doesn't have charisma that much. So that doesn't help it out. Uh, we got these guys. So what do we got right here? Jake Roberts versus uh, Chris Benoit. Whoever is, has the least amount of the worst record right now, I guess. Chris Benoit has the worst record. So we got to give him a win. Let's give him a win, boys. There we go. Decent match. Four and a half star. So that's pretty good. Pretty decent match right here. Chris Benoit is starting to get over with the fans. That's good to know. And they want Lita to win in that match. Yeah, they wanted Lita to retain uh, this time around as well. I'm giving this... I'm going to start ignoring the fans, boys. I'm going to start doing just uh, random simulation 
for the actual uh what's it called for the actual titles match so lita let's see if you're gonna win that match buddy and she does she does win that match it's a low into intensity match so for some reason it didn't connect in that match between the uh, the three uh, girls didn't connect as much but it still was a pretty decent match it just because of the low intensity uh downed it up by one star almost so that's pretty bad it would have been a great match otherwise but uh lita everybody goes up from that because they're they're great at performing against each other and lita is just gonna stay champ forever boys mr perfect versus eddie let's see uh really quick who do i want to win right here i think the the worst record right now is uh kurt ending so we gave a win to uh eddie last time i think it's time to give a win to mr perfect this time around let's just uh give him a win there we go and that's a really good match cool spots and everything five star five and a half star match boys and kurt ending gets a win right here and both of them get some bonuses from that so that's fantastic huge package for uh for these guys our 100% effectiveness, that is fantastic. Ups Miss Elizabeth as well. Ups everybody. That's really good, boys. That's really good. Now, uh, they wanted Lee, uh, Jeff Hardy to retain the title or to re-become the champion again. Not going to let that happen. Uh, I'm going to do a screw job finish. Is that a... Yeah, it's a new um, new feud. Huh? We, threw, we threw in the towel last time. I think we can do the screw job finish this time around. We're going to do that and we're just going to do uh, simulation. We're going to simulate it, of course. And Mickey James wins again. Yeah, she retains the title via screw job finish. Feud continues to go up right here. It's almost a five star match, so that's really good. Yeah, that's a good choice because uh, anytime you see both positive um, points for both wrestlers, that means it's a really good choice that I made. So, really fantastic. Triple threat false count anywhere match between these guys. What do I want to do right here? Who do I want to win? Uh, the one that has the least, uh, the worst record. Obviously, Ricky Steamboat uh, won the last match. I think uh, Stone Cold needs to win one. Yeah, Stone Cold needs to win uh, a match right here. So we're going to give him the win. There we go. Give him the win, boys. Nothing particular about it. It's just a, a normal classic match. Five and a half star. Um, nothing added to it i guess but uh, stone cold get, uh, gets a w on that one uh, main event package let's see there we go ups it up a little bit and now the hype is really good on that one the hype the uh, hype train is real for that one boys so uh that one we did we could do ring collapse but that would mean that definitely is guaranteed that rob van dam would contain uh, retain the title respectful and by any means pass out all these require would require sting to win i believe so all of them would require sting to believe to do a double turn uh, so that's a double turn and these ones would require a sting to win anyways i think i'm just going to do a ring collapse there we go ring collapse boom and rob van dam wins uh, during the ring collapse uh, kind of retains the title uh from that and uh the the, f the match was really good almost a five star match so really good for mr rob van dam right here one month gonna be two months champion stone cold's work rate went up as well so now he's a uh, as a perfect wrestler boys that's fantastic for him as well i like to see that i want to see my wrestlers uh becoming better and better every time i just i love seeing that the pay-per-view itself not a five star this time around i think uh the first match really lowered down that uh those potential those other matches but I, I guess that's fine all right so we're, i think we're good boys we don't have uh, to look at anything else uh our pay-per-view itself look at that we're gaining 100k now more than 100k fans uh per uh, show basically um wcw is gaining fans still but they're gaining only 30k fans I'm getting a over 100, and the uh, WWF is losing uh, almost as much as I'm gaining. So I had the second biggest pay-per-view of the month right here. I'm going up big time, boys. We're going up uh, in there, and that's fantastic for us. So uh, Paul Eamon was released. Wait, 
I saw Paul Heyman released or something. I don't know uh, how that happened. I don't know what happened, boys. But December, uh, now uh, Massacre on 34th Street. We've got unsanctioned match. It's uh, upping the thing. We don't want to do I quit match, so we got to be careful about that. Uh, Charisma, in one month, it's going to be done for Matt Hardy. So after, uh, yeah, so Stone Cold um, skill increased. And Lita's work rate was increased as well. Good. So both of them were increased. Uh, Lita, where, where's it at? Or uh, work rate, though. Where's it at, at now? It's at three. Yeah, good. So now she's all the way up. She needs to upgrade her charisma a little bit. But um, for the rest, I mean, it's fantastic. Don't have any unhappy wrestlers or anything. Yeah, it's fantastic. If we just go to booking really quick. We go to morale. Who's the least happy? The least happy would be... Um, I guess Matt Hardy at 77 of morale. So that's really good. If we go to managers, let's see my managers. So 59 happiness. Yeah, you can't go down uh, more down than this. So I'm just, I'm going to continue to reassure my, um, try and reassure my managers here. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth is pretty happy. And uh, Bobby Eaton as well. It's just Paul Eman for some reason. Uh, it said he was, uh, I guess he got uh, got rid of or something. I don't know where that uh, came from, but whatever. Rob Van Dam's work rate increased as well. Since when? Okay, whatever, I guess. I, I don't know. But uh, let's see what we got. So we got to look for... We, we got to go into Indies and look for a new wrestler now for the next month, for the new year. What we do want to go for is another girl. I need another woman wrestler, boys. I don't have enough of those. I have four... I need more. I, I definitely need more. Definitely need more. So Luna Vachon could be a really good one. A big match specialist enjoys gimmick matches, right? Uh, she doesn't have a lot of popularity, though. She's not very popular. But she has the po uh, the potential, of course, that after she's done, like, wrestling, uh, she could become a manager for us and stuff. Medusa, workhorse. So that would be a really good wrestler. Medusa would be a fantastic wrestler for us. She's also... Called by the name of Alundra Blaze, of course. Uh, but uh, she would be a fantastic one. So I got to keep her in mind uh, for sure. We do know that there's another one that uh, came out recently, right? I don't remember who it was, though. That's the problem. Mae Young? Dull worker. I don't want her. It's the problem. We can't have a dull worker on right there. Deborah. I don't know who Deborah is. I'm looking for a, for a good girl, uh, a good Roman wrestler, boys. Ivory, she's a workhorse as well. She's a natural babyface. We wouldn't be able to turn her, though. Uh, yeah, she would be interesting. Ivory would be interesting. She could be something. Stephanie McMahon, big match specialist. Natural heel, though. Natural heel. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Before going for any of these guys, uh, girls, I would probably go for Medusa. I'm not going to lie. So Candice LeRae is the new one, but uh, she's definitely just a jabroni at this point. She's very unpopular, and uh, she doesn't have any bonuses. She has storyteller. She can tell stories like promos and stuff. It doesn't matter to me, though. I'm not working with that. So I'm not going with that. Uh, I'm just going to go uh, roll with uh, Medusa wherever she is. Let's uh, uh, get her real quick. Medusa, search her up. There we go. So we're going to go for Medusa, boy. She's a decent worker and a decent uh, charisma. Uh, she's got decent of both, bo uh, basically. She's got workhorse, so odd matches going up. Big match specialist for pay-per-view. So we're getting her. I, I want to get her. There we go. So get her sent to the main roster. Next month, she's going to be here, boys. We're going to have a new wrestler, a uh, woman wrestler. And uh, let's take a look really quick on companies, or actually jobs, companies. There we go. Where are we at? We are now at a hundred uh, one million and six uh, sixty six fans, uh, right on there with four, uh, WCW boys, right in there, and uh, so we we just gotta keep having good matches, gotta keep having good matches. Let's roll it up. Let's go into our next pay per view. Or actually, do I want to go into my last pay per view right here? What do the fans want? The fans want all of this. You can see right here. I don't care. I don't care what the, what the fans want anymore. I'm just going for what I want. So, randomness for the titles. Uh, Lita versus Trish Rider are starting their feud up. Which means I can do a screw job finish. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. So, screw job finish. 
simulate and Lita retains the title once again is she ever gonna det uh, like get rid of the title I don't know we'll see if she's gonna ever, uh, ever gonna lose a title but right now it's a really good match five and a half star match to start it up boys these Lita is just so popular with the fans it's just unbelievable seven months boys and now her work rate is just off the chart I mean these are two Roman wrestlers right now because of their overness they're both at four stars of work rate I mean it's only normal that this uh, goes all the way up like that it's only normal they're fantastic wrestlers both of them and uh, alright so promo battle was kind of effective a little bit uh, helped out a little bit so now we're hopping on to the actual match it's for the title uh, I guess we're gonna have to go for randomness so the champion right now is Mickey James but uh, we'll see where this leads at I don't with this amount of wrestlers I've got a feeling that actually no because El Generico is in here so yeah El Generico is gonna be the new champ I guess because I'm still pushing him he's still the guy that I'm pushing so congrats Sammy you're getting the win right here you're being the new champ uh, Mickey's been champ for two months but El Generico is the brand new champ and that finish actually was fantastic almost a six star match boys holy fuck that was a great match that was a really good one and uh, the fact that El Generico won uh, won over the fans that up top the overness of everyone everyone went up for the stats wise that's that's just perfect everyone's going up Mickey James work rate went to level three right there that is great that's just fantastic and Sami, Sami Zayn gets to be champ for at least a month. All right, so triple threat unsanctioned match between Jake, uh, Ricky Steamboat, and Kurt Enning. Let's see uh, who deserves the win the most. Definitely not Mr. Perfect. He got the win last time. So now it would be Jake Roberts or, or Ricky Steamboat, one of them. Now they both are 0-1 for the last match. I think uh, Jake Roberts needs to get a win or something so I've got, I'll give the win to Jake Roberts on that one there we go full of action Yo, my, my, my matches are going up big time look at that another five and a half star match holy shit boys these matches are really good full of action and everything going up big time in overness like popularity and stuff yo that's that's really great that's really great right there holy main event package 100% effectiveness that is fantastic uh, 180% uh, of hype right there this this pay-per-view is going to become one of our biggest pay-per-view in no time boys holy all right so injury revenge plus top talent uh, uh feud right there going on uh, we got so this is a titles match. So Rob Van Dam's been champ for two months. Obviously, I don't know if anybody's going to win the title right here, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we can't do any finishes, so we're just going to simulate the match. Who wins the match? Ric Flair wins the match. It uh, ends up being the worst match of the pay-per-view in a five-star. So that just tells you how fantastic the match was, uh, the pay-per-view was. Holy, all right. So Ric Flair uh, won it. He won the title. He's once again champion of the world boys uh very interesting because he was 0 in six for the previous six matches but uh he got uh he got lucky i guess uh the randomness decided to give him the title for that one so uh robin them is no longer the champ and uh ending the reign and everything everything's going up everything's going up for that one the pay-per-view itself was obviously a five and a half star pay-per-view so by far bigger best pay-per-view that we ever had boys so that was a fantastic pay-per-view right there holy christ i like i i love seeing that it's just fantastic and we had almost like two 200 more than 200k like fans going by and uh almost 200k themselves were up in fans so that's really good starcade so starcade went down actually the biggest pay-per-view of the year for wcw actually did not perform well vengeance did not go well for these guys all right so oh look at this shit word wwf about to be bought out 
Oh my god, boys, it's gonna happen. The universe, alternate uh, universe right here. Reports are coming in, the, the, in that WWF is up for sale. Talent at World Wrestling Federations are worried about this, what this means about their future. They're up for sale. So you know what that means? I can buy them. I can buy WWF, boys. I can buy them and nearly get their wrestler, uh, all the, uh, most of their wrestlers. I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay, so Bobby Eaton wants to go away. Um, there we go. So we got also the wrestling talent, the wrestling shows and everything, the awards. But Bobby Eaton wants to go away. Uh, is he unhappy? He's happy. We can keep him. I'm going to decline. I'm going to decline. You're staying with us, Bobby Eaton. You're staying with us. So uh, WCW is available uh, in our budget. Um, uh, Enon's not happy. Artifact reuse, whatever. We're gonna have a bunch of stuff. So fresh start. I need a fresh start. Thanks for signing. So Medusa is in our roster. Hair change. I decided to grow out my hair. It was time for a change. What do you think? So uh, Sami Zayn wants to grow out his hair. That's fine by me. Uh, Charisma is done for Matt Hardy. Reassure success for um, Paul Heyman. Buyout. This could be really exciting news due to failing in reputation recently. WWF is available for buyout. We can make an offer if uh, we can only make an offer if we have the company acquisition facility. We have that. We already have that. We're good. Before WCW gets their hands on the company, I want to get my hands on them. I need to get my hands on them big time. Got to make an offer. Cost? I'm going to make them an offer. Vince? Let me buy out your company. I'm going to do a much better job with your wrestlers than WCW will ever do with theirs. And once, when you buy out, right, you buy out also the titles. You can take whatever wrestlers that you want and championship that you want from them. So I could literally get a second championship, world championship, which is uh, what I'm going to do, obviously. I'm going to get their world title and get it for myself. I'm definitely going to do that. Wait, they have two hardcore champions? Okay, that's kind of strange. But they do have CM Punk in there. I'm making the offer, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the enjoy video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.